Hello everybody, if you are new around here, my name is Adam and in this Planet Zoo video today, I will be showing you the best ways to use and utilise foliage within the game, as well as the best ways to fill gaps within your franchise or sandbox zoos. Now, well, let's get into this. But first of all, I'm going to start off with, well, probably the easiest gap to be able to fill, and that's this simple medium sized square on gap now it's even it's square which makes it very much easy to be able to fill and to be able to cover and you kind of see these gaps in your main entrances when you come through to, into your zoo and this normally consists of a fountain or a plaza area or a food court area well that's what I like to do anyway so let's have a look at some options to fill this kind of gap so let's zoom in and take a closer look now what I personally like to do with quite square and even spaces like this is fill it with some kind of water feature or water fountain. So let's try that. As you can see with this little water fountain in, it really can bring any zoo to life, especially if it's towards the front of your zoo as your guests come in and see it. But if you want to go a little bit larger, then you can add an even bigger water feature. Both look good. And if you really want to go abstract and totally different, you can add a church. That's right, anything. You can add any kind of scenery item like this habitat as well. A small enough habitat made in the style of an aviary. This can fit peacocks in. Now let's move on to smaller gaps and the best thing to do with this is foliage. Now for the fencing around foliage we've got these lovely in-game fences what Frontier and Planet Zoo has provided for us. Quite a wide variety but you, it's not always the best to use. Remember you can always use custom fences and make your imagination go wild and create some stuff yourself. Oh, and by the way, the water features from the last section and the Avery and the church are all on my Steam Workshop. The link is down in the description if you want to download them and you can't be bothered to create your own. Now let's start transforming this gap. And I do this first with the terrain tool creating some mud and then we add one of the fences as you can see from the left around the mudded area and then add some simple but highly effective foliage. Now there's many different kinds of foliage you can use depending on what kind of zoo you are making but remember to always leave gaps, there's going to be soil gaps between your foliage items, between your trees and your bushes. Try to make it look realistic but let's get rid of that for now as I am going to show you kind of step by step and kind of like a speed run part and segment of this video where I'm going to show you how to make a custom planter and create um, a unique planter in the same area we've just created that previous uh, foliage area um, and there's a little technique I like to do especially if I'm building anything modern and for planters it works really well and I get this triangular uh, building piece the metal building piece and I just place it all around and I make sure it goes in on each other and it just looks like a jagged edge and a jagged planter again giving it that more modern look and then obviously the good old faithful uh, mulch comes out um, if you've not used mulch before this is brilliant this is basically just piles of soil without using the terrain tool and we just duplicate that over make sure no mulch is poking out of your barriers your, your custom fence what you can see I've built and then it's time to go absolutely crazy with the foliage and there's two things what I think work really well with foliage and that is tropical and modern I don't know why it always seems to be the kind of scenery I like to go for and it normally comes out looking pretty decent again making sure there's gaps in the soil so it looks like it's actually been planted by humans and then creating a little centerpiece with a tall palm tree and there you go that's pretty much finished and to me it looks pretty good and again it's a different way how to do things and now we're going to look at the more kind of difficult but it's not going to be difficult for you for much longer because I'm about to show you how to fill awkward annoying small and kind of larger gaps like you can see on the screen now we've all had it it's a pain in the ass so let's fix it and first for the smaller areas which are more easier you can just add foliage like this again it looks better and it's easy 
And this is where it comes into your own decisions and your own preference. You can add any foliage you wish to and smaller gaps like this really are easier to cover. Or if you don't want to add any more foliage, another good option is to add like a centre point or a rest area for your guests. You see these a lot in zoos and they really do make your zoos look more realistic. So why not add some benches, some ATMs, some dustbins for rubbish and then a little bit of foliage as well as some education. Now let's move on to probably the most difficult and the most annoying gap to fill and this is the awkward gap like this and it's quite a bit of a bigger size so i'm going to start doing it again as a speed build segment so you can follow along if you want to see the techniques i use and what i really wanted to show you and what i really want to do in a gap like this is create a custom planter you've seen planters already but obviously a basic planter is not going to be viable in a space like this it's not even it's not square and there's nothing really what will fit in this space unless we do it in the way where we custom make stuff and what i mean by this is grabbing these art shapes like you can see me doing now recoloring them to whatever color you want and then creating the custom barrier and the custom planter by yourself it's a little bit tricky but all you have to do is follow the lines it's a bit like coloring in stay in the lines and you'll be okay and once you've followed all the lines and you've got your custom planter barrier in place it will look a little something like this as you can see with the custom barrier the art shapes what we used i just followed the line around the path to make a custom planter base like this add a bit of mulch like so and there we go we've pretty much got our planter the only thing left now is you guessed it foliage and again i've gone with that same tropical look i just love the tropical look but now I'm going to show you a more alternative way to create something in this space and fill this gap. And I'm going to do this by digging the area out. Um, not that far down, I want to create a little pond, a little water feature. Uh, so we dig the area out, we add water, and I'm just going to change the colour of the water now, which is a really good idea to do. Again, whatever biome you want, if you're on a tropical biome like I am at the moment, change the water to tropical. There we go, the water is now changed and it's looking far much better. Let's get the terrain tool out and we'll get some rock going and we'll cover the outside area with rock before we put the actual rocks on. So this is what it looks like with no rocks in place. So let's add some rocks. And there we go, as you can see, it looks far much better. I added some little bit of foliage as well, like lily pads and some reefs. And why stop there? Add a few more rocks and turn it into a water fountain. And that pretty much sums up this video. If this video helped you in any kind of way, I'll give you any kind of ideas or inspiration. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and join the community. New or old, hit that like button. It really helps me a lot and it makes me feel good about myself. And everyone likes to make others feel good, right? <laughs> anyway, I thought I'll leave you with this little picture of a kind of a more advanced and unique way of how to fill a gap this is a circular gap it's still small and this is actually a fully functioning working habitat i can't remember what animal i put in there though but if you want to download this habitat or any of the water features you've seen in this video the link to my steam workshop is down below in the description box my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next planet 2 video